Mm -mm. Nope. Ugh. Mm -mm. All right, stop, stop, stop. Man. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jay Alexander, and welcome to another episode of Ship Life. So apparently a lot of big names in the cruise ship industry are under fire after a recent inspection on board revealed that there were bugs on board the cruise ship. Now I know that's disgusting, but in today's episode, I wanna to talk to you guys about that. Whether it's something that you should be worried about, we're gonna talk about that, and of course, a couple little other things as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go. Alright guys, let's go ahead and crawl straight into this one. So it's no secret that bugs tend to be present players and infest a lot of areas such as hotels and restaurants. Now what happens when you combine the two in some place like a cruise ship on water? Now the thing about a cruise ship, it actually combines both of these things. So the question of the day is, should you really be worried? And that's what we're here to talk about today. A cruise ship vacation is supposed to be the ultimate getaway, giving you the idea of a perfect or utopic environment, far away from stress or the elements of reality. Now, in order to uphold that, there are people known as inspectors that come on board to make sure at least two things are upheld, and that is health and safety. When it comes to cruise ships, Health is definitely a huge concern. This is all due to the fact that anything such as a disease, sickness, or infection could possibly be harmful to everybody on board because on cruise ships, when you're setting sail, when you're out in the middle of the ocean, there isn't really nowhere for you to go. So that means any disease can potentially spread like wildfire, which obviously isn't cool. So the inspectors, when they're inspecting the ship, they are very, very strict when it comes to looking around for anything that may be harmful to anybody on board. Now, if a cruise ship for whatever reason doesn't get an 85 or above, sections of the ship or even potentially the entire ship could be shut down until that problem is resolved. Back in 2016, a Carnival cruise ship had its entire pool area shut down for inadequate chlorine levels in the water. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely trying to go swimming when I go on board, but not if there's an issue. So the question of the day is, what happens if there's a potential infestation on board, if there are bugs that are present on the ship? All right, so first off, let me start off by saying that if any cruise line at all has any rats, bugs, anything like that that are present on board, the cruise line or the cruise ship in particular would be shut down, no questions asked. But as an employee and a crew member, I can honestly tell you guys that I've really never even seen anything like that or have even heard of an infestation happening on board. Now, I'm, the reason I'm bringing this, this episode up is because I want everybody to understand that, like I said at the beginning of the video, the inspectors are extremely strict, right? They will shut down an entire department or even a ship for a couple of flies that we really have no control over. Now, this article that I read in particular, and at least from what I've seen, these incidents seem to happen in uh, South Florida a lot of the time and a lot of warmer climates. Now, as somebody that lives in Florida, I can honestly tell you there has not been a house that I haven't been into where, or even a restaurant where I haven't seen, you know, maybe some kind of a bug or a fly that has happened to, you know, get in. It happens in these places. Now, of course, we have pesticides and we have all that, of course, available, but unfortunately there are bugs like cockroaches that are very smart that are able to bypass a lot of that, which is unfortunate, but you know what I mean? What, what are you gonna do? When it comes to the situation, I can understand the infestation, but as far as when it comes to anybody that wants to go on a cruise ship, don't worry, you're not gonna find roaches, you're not gonna find spiders or anything like that. And on the off chance that you do, I can almost guarantee that there is no infestation. I just think things are you know, a little bit more uh, portrayed to be bigger than it needs to be. It's not that big of a deal. There is no infestation, at least in, on modern cruise ships, you really won't see that. But I wanted to make this video just to kind of make people aware that if you hear something like that, chances are there aren't situations where there is like a thousand roaches on the ship because honestly, if there was, I wouldn't even be on a ship either. I don't know about you guys, but um, you know, I think the wrong message is just getting out. And I just wanna make sure everybody is aware that just because somebody says there's a bug, like in this particular case in the article that I read, which I'll link below, there were apparently some uh, dead beetles or something like that on top of a wine cellar or a wine cooler or something like that but I can almost guarantee that they just happened to get there, uh, being that they were in a lot of, probably in tropical places and other places of that nature. But uh, you know, 
it is what it is. This is our this is the world that we live in, guys. There there are bugs literally everywhere. What are you gonna do? You can't stop all of them. You can't keep mosquitoes away to a certain degree unless you have like a you know a, 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 a off bath or something. I don't know, but um, you know, just keep that in mind when you guys are cruising. Don't be so scared of, of whatever it is you think you might face on board. No ship is that disgusting. They honestly keep it pretty clean. As somebody that's worked on ships, the crew do a really, really, really good job. Unless you're, uh, no, I'm not gonna say any names. I'm not gonna go there. There's some cruise lines that obviously aren't as clean as others, but the chances of there being like an infestation or anything like that, this isn't like the 1800s where people were getting scurvy and whatever it is due to rats and everything else that were on board. Yellow fever, you know, um, this stuff is present, but it's not like existing like it used to because cruise lines are taking every measure to make sure they're safe because honestly, truth be told, last thing they want is a lawsuit. But anyway, guys, I hope I helped this situation. This is a short video, but I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys are having a great day. I have another video coming out sometime this weekend and Friday as well. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button for me. Until then, you guys take care.